Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're talking about a very mysterious object known as a microquasar. This is the first discovered microquasar in our universe and it's actually right here in our galaxy. It's known as SS433. Let's talk a little bit more about this. Welcome to What The Math. Now you can actually find SS433 in Space Engine, although it doesn't really look that impressive. What you'll discover here if you come here um, is basically a very large, very massive and uh, somewhat energetic star and a smaller looking object next to it. As you can probably imagine, this right here is what the story is all about. This is actually a black hole or most likely a black hole. A very, very massive black hole that is actually creating a huge amount of energy. Now let's actually rewind a little bit and talk a little bit more about the region where the, all of this is happening. First of all, this is actually really far away, about 10,000 light years away from our planet Earth. Relatively close to the center of the galaxy, but much farther away from Earth. If you come here, you'll discover this beautiful nebula known as W50. It's sometimes referred to as the Manatee Nebula because I guess if you squint your eyes, you'll maybe see a Manatee, the uh, sea animal. This is a supernova remnant and it's about 18,000 or so light years away from us. And we think that this supernova actually occurred about 20,000 years ago. But right at the center, is a mystery known as the microquasar SS433. And the reason the shape for this supernova remnant is so different from other nebula is most likely because of this unusual microquasar. And the reason the shape for this object is so unusual is probably because this microquasar is causing the disruptions from within. Now we've actually known about this particular binary system for quite a long time. As a matter of fact, the first time it was cataloged was back in 1977. But what we did know was what's actually happening here. And the more we study this particular system, the more we discover more and more unusual events. As a matter of fact, one of the more recent studies was only um, a few weeks ago from when I'm making this video in October of 2018 and it discovered some more unusual, interesting things that I'm going to talk about. So first of all, um, a lot of observations of this system revealed a lot of really highly energetic events that you see on the screen right now, something that has never really been seen before in our galaxy. If I were to actually kind of zoom in to what's happening here, this is what you would see. A tremendously highly energetic jets coming off the uh, system, the binary system, that's kind of equivalent to some of the more powerful um, galaxies out there that are normally known as quasars. But this right here is a microquasar. And if I were to zoom in here, you would actually see something like this. And so remember, this is actually uh, possibly a black hole and a very large star right next to it. Now, what's happening here, as you can probably imagine, is that the black hole, uh, it's not a really massive black hole, but it's definitely massive enough to actually have the star orbit around it, is essentially eating up a lot of the material from the tremendously, tremendously large and massive star next to it. As a matter of fact, uh, the star is most likely losing tremendous amounts of mass, and all of this mass is falling into the black hole, and then the mass itself creates an accretion disk around the black hole that you see right here. And following all of this, these jets are generated and throw out tremendous amounts of uh, energy. Now, so far, uh, we haven't really seen any more powerful objects in our galaxy, except, of course, for the supermassive black hole in the middle, but we haven't really seen any emissions from it. So this particular microquasar is generating so much energy that the actual length of these jets that you see right here is close to about 130 light years. That's right, light years. Remember, the closest star to us is about four light years away. These jets are 130 light years each. 
And so this by itself makes this an extremely exotic object. And the material in this jet travels at about 26% of the speed of light, about a quarter of the speed of light, and creates such strong um, electrons, and this is actually one of the more recent discoveries, that when these electrons bounce off the uh, microwave radiation left over after the Big Bang, they actually generate high energy gamma rays that are normally expected to be generated by, well, essentially supermassive black holes. We don't really have a lot of gamma ray um, sources in our galaxy. As a matter of fact, this seems to be the only gamma ray source so far. And each electron here has about a thousand times more energy than can be achieved from um, super large and super powerful accelerators that we built here on Earth, like for example, Large Hadron Collider that's located in Switzerland and kind of looks like this on the inside. And that's actually size of a small city. It's a tremendously large accelerator that can create really high energies on the inside. But this black hole right here generates electrons that are way, way, way more powerful in energy. And because these electrons are some of the highest energy particles in our galaxy, it's actually kind of impossible to explain right now how such a tiny black hole, in comparison to other black holes that is, uh, can actually generate so much energy and why other black holes that we've detected are not actually generating nearly as much. So in that sense, this is actually quite a mystery. And on that note, that's actually kind of all we really know about this. Really, the only thing we know about this particular object or binary system is that it is tremendously, tremendously powerful. Extremely powerful, way more powerful than it should be. And what makes it so strong is a mystery. Now, maybe one day we'll actually be able to simulate this and be able to explain this a little bit better because it just doesn't really make sense how a black hole, even if it's actually eating up all of this mass, can actually create so much energy. But until we can actually explain what's happening here, or at least try to simulate this using supercomputers, I guess we're not going to be able to add anything else to the story. Maybe one day we'll be able to discover how it generates this power and then use this for our own benefits, or maybe this will actually be explained in some other way with some kind of a unique object that we've never discovered before. Either way though, SS433 is the only object that we've discovered so far that qualifies as a microquasar and is basically one of the most unique and mysterious objects in our galaxy. As we discover more things about it, you're going to learn more through the videos I make about it. And if you still haven't subscribed and want to keep up to date with what's happening in the universe, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out. And as always, bye bye. And if you do want to help me a little bit and help this channel grow, consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me quite a lot.